Hey, I'm Ren. Let's see what's making news. Now, this might look like a pretty normal photo of Princess Catherine and her children, but it's actually caused a media frenzy around the world. Here's Nat. Assistant. Detective, I need you to have a look at this photo for me. Something isn't adding up. What do you think it is, Detective? I'm not sure, but if you look at Princess Charlotte's left sleeve, it's magically gone missing. And over here, these tiles and that step show signs of being digitally stitched together. Are you saying it's Photoshop, Detective? Probably. This photo of Princess Catherine and her kids has gone viral for all the wrong reasons. Posted on Mother's Day in the UK, it's the first official photo of Kate since she had surgery earlier this year. But some keen-eyed viewers noticed a few weird editing gaffes, and suddenly it was on the front cover of just about every newspaper in the UK. And news organisations that couldn't trust the authenticity of it put out a picture kill order. Meaning, you know, delete it. It left a lot of people asking why the photo was edited like it was, if AI might have been involved, and if we can trust it's a real photo at all. It also doesn't help that a lot of people have been wondering how Kate's been doing since her surgery. She hasn't really been seen in public since, so this photo was a big deal. Last night, Princess Kate admitted she had in fact edited the photo and apologised for any confusion. But the royal family says it won't be releasing the original unedited photo, only adding to the mystery and intrigue. That is indeed quite mysterious and intriguing. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, there's been a changing of the guard at the International Space Station. The four members of SpaceX Crew 7 said their goodbyes and are heading back to Earth with time-sensitive research after more than six months in orbit. This is something I've dreamed about since I was a, a child. They welcomed the new ISS crew on board last week, who will stay until the end of August. I wish you the best of luck and uh, I'll pass you the key to the space station. They say every dog has its day, and for Viking, that day was yesterday. He just won Best in Show at the 2024 Crafts Dog Show. Here's Jack. He is beauty, he is grace, and he is best in show at this place. Say ruh row to your reigning top dog, Viking. I think we all dream of winning Best in Show Crafts. So, yeah. In case you aren't familiar, Crufts is a massive international dog show that is held every year in the UK, with more than 24,000 dogs and their owners competing in their respective breed groups. Judges are looking for things like athletic ability, agility, obedience, flyball skills, and my personal favourite, heel work. The finalists of each group then compete for the coveted prize of best in show, which this year, as we know, went to Australian Shepherd, Viking. I should never doubt him because he always gives me everything and he just, he come in and he was like, yeah, come on, let's do this. So he loves every minute of it. Meanwhile, this adorable Jack Russell from Japan named Zen came in second. But in my eyes, they're all women. They're all good boys and girls, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling good. Like, I've just got this warm feeling in my heart, and I want you to feel it too with these heartwarming stories. <sighs> First up, to New Zealand, where researchers have just discovered a whopping 100 new marine species in just 21 days. They're exploring part of the ocean that's never been explored before as part of a massive ocean census, and they've found new fish, corals, and uh, whatever this is. Now to Ramadan, which has just started around the world. Ramadan is the ninth month on the Islamic calendar, and it's observed by Muslims as a month of fasting from dawn to sunset to encourage self-discipline and focus on spirituality. And finally, are you feeling stressed? Need something to calm you down? Well, look no further than Istanbul Airport, where five therapy dogs have been deployed for the sole purpose of making people feel like this. Oh, it's a relax. <laughs> yep, these furry friends search for stressed passengers to calm their nerves before they hop on their next flight. What did humans do to deserve dogs? <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Bye.